This is regarding Swish, the short, short film. Um, I was very impressed with the amount, um, basically what was uh, portrayed in this short film in such a short amount of time. I thought the performances were really nice, uh, sad, you know, subject matter, but I thought it was handled very well in such a short time. I thought the music went really well with it. So. The editing, um, camera work, and cinematography was all good, and I just, I really, I liked it a lot. Um, so well done to all, everybody involved. Swish um, juxtaposes past and present to great emotional effect. Um, you know, slowly peels back the layers of memory, you know, to reveal the pain at the heart of this character, and you know, the significance of everything that he's doing um, in this really kind of moving way. And I loved love the match cuts um, to between past and present they're fantastic um, and they look great but they also really support the theme and really kind of tug at the emotion as you juxtapose past and present to really pull that pain out um, so it's very laid and very moving but even you know, towards the end it, it, it's not just about pain it's also about healing it has a very positive impact as well so it's great Swish. Really great full circle filmmaking um, in the storyline. It ended where it began and so much transpires in that middle to make the final image hit a lot harder. Um, great metaphor of the teammates in the game, but also teammates in life um, and the loss of that and how do you play play the game without your backup, without your team members. Um, I think it was important that we got to see them just playing their memories together, their back and forth, so that when the violence and the tragedy did strike, it, um, it hit that much harder. Yeah, really effective piece. Uh, this was surprisingly powerful. Uh, it was a great contrast between the the youth and the the older sequence. the The color grade immediately told us we were in the past. It was simple, effective. Um, it was a powerful narrative and uh, social commentary that I thought was really well done. Everyone should be really proud of this one. It's just great work. Swish. Well, this was a piece that left you with a lot of emotion. The beginning starts out as a fellow shooting hoops, and you think maybe he's pondering what it would have been like for him to play professional basketball, but it's so much more. There's great flashbacks, and there's a nice handling of a scene of a shooting of his best friend that he used to play basketball with. They did that really well. Um, the tragedy hits you, and it's just a really touching tribute to the memory of a friend. Lost young, lost to violence, and it puts through the point that survivors are the ones left with that for life, and the impact that that could have. It was really well done. So I just got done watching the film Swish. Uh, I really enjoyed this film. I thought it was really well made, really well put together. Um, this movie felt really meticulous to me, um, very carefully crafted. Uh, you know, I mean, the storytelling is extremely economic. Um, there's a lot of drama and backstory jam-packed into just, just a few minutes here. Um, I really like the location photography in the film, you know, the East Coast vibe, the outdoor locations. Um, it all lends some, lends some really good production value uh, to the film, I thought. Um, yeah, I loved the emotion and the sentiment in this film. Um, I, I, I thought the, you know, dramatic, sort of heavy, melancholic tone that it had w uh, was really effective and really engaging. Um, overall, just a really strong piece here, uh, and I really enjoyed watching it. 
Swish did a really great job of transitioning the passage of time um, and also just connecting the shots, especially during uh, the basketball game where, you know, past him would like go for a shot and it would cut in with older him taking the same shot. Um, so I thought that was a really, um, it was a really well done. It was very clean, the transitions. Um, it was a quiet film. There was no dialogue really. Um, but it told a really full story and we get to see the relationship, the encouragement, the, sorry, the camaraderie between these boys. And then when he is shot, seeing, we understand how much that means to him and what he's left with and collecting that, you know, that little keychain and how he carries it with him, even as an adult. And he thinks about him when he plays basketball. It was just, there was so much told story-wise in such a short amount of time and with no dialogue. And I just think that's a sign of really good filmmaking and really good storytelling. Um, it got the audience invested. We understood what was happening. We understood the relationship. And therefore, when when the death happens, it hits just that much harder. Um, yeah, really, really great storytelling.